In my personal opinion, it is paramount that Jeff Jarrett returns to the company. This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. And you're supposed to be the Knockouts champion? Hey, really quick before we get into the topic at hand, if it's your first time here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We're going for 2.5k by Bound for Glory, and it's a great channel to be a part of. I've got, not only do I have interviews with Ali and Sienna already in the books, coming up I've got Marche Rocket, William Weeks, the CEO from Future Legend Apparel, and Wilcox from Veterans of War, and more to come. And I've got something really special in the works for November, or actually for October, right before Bound for Glory. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off or not, but if we can get up to that 2.5K, maybe even more, it's going to help my case quite a bit. But let's get into Jeff Jarrett. And this is my personal opinion, and I think many of you, many of you probably share this as well. He really needs to be back. And um, unless you've been living under a rock... You've seen that the company has been um, pretty much branding themselves as Impact. And even if you look at the uh, YouTube artwork, it went from the bright green to blue, the Impact colors. So it seems like the name Global Force Wrestling is obviously up in the air. And the reason it's really important, I think, that they work this out with Jeff Jarrett, it's, it's just a myriad of reasons. I mean, they can't afford another rebrand. I mean, rebranding back to Impact would probably be pretty simple but for PR reasons it would not be a good move and Jeff Jarrett he's the one who did a lot of this work a lot of the work I don't know if you've seen the movie called the founder about McDonald's and I'm not going to get into the plot and the uh the ending but I kind of worry something like that is going to happen so Jeff Jarrett has done so much legwork for the change of the company where he's brought all his guys in he was the one that created these partnerships with Crash and AAA and Noah, and I'm sure the Global Network was probably his brainchild. If not, he's probably playing a pretty major role in what they're trying to do with that network. Now, if Jeff were to leave the company for good, and we don't know what's happening, like it's all dirt sheet stuff, we really don't know. All we can go off is that they're not calling themselves Global Force, Res Global Force Wrestling right now. But if he were to leave and they would have to, you know, do another rebrand, they'd have to come up with new titles. Um, some terminology would have to change. Obviously, the Global Wrestling Network could not be the Global Wrestling Network. Uh, the, the partnerships with Crash and AAA and NOAA and, you know, what, whatever other partnerships he's got in the works, you know, how strong will those be or will those even continue? Because they're basically going to take, you know, hypothetically, the vision that Jeff Jarrett had for Global Force Wrestling back when it was, you know, his baby. And um, it's almost like they're taking that vision and running with it and leaving him out in the cold. And for the second time, he could be forced out of his own company. That worries me a little bit, especially if Jeff does have, an, uh, you know, some problems with substance abuse. It does, it does worry me to... to um, just envision what this guy's uh, mental state would be if he was pushed out of his own company twice. So, you know, above, you know, above and beyond from the, the branding things and the new championships and the global network and all the partnerships and his vision, aside from all that, for the well-being of Jeff and the well-being of Karen, and you know, if Jeff was permanently out of the company, there, you know, I don't even want to say out of the woodworks because everyone's been pretty vocal. Um, like the Hardys, Helms, uh, they would have a field day with this. The the, um, the people who we consider not wrestling fans, they would have a field day with this. The Dershies would have a field day with it. I just think it's in everybody's best interest involved to figure this out. And if if it is a leave of absence, I mean, it, it, this is a leave of absence we're talking about. Jeff Jarrett was not suspended. So if it's a leave of absence, you know, when he comes back, if he comes back, let's hope they can just come together and move forward because I really think his vision is responsible for everything we're really loving on TV right now. All the there's been some hiccups, but all the good improvements and changes have been making have really been either his vision or the people that he brought in. And it worries me quite a bit because he did bring some people in. So if they get rid of him, are they gonna get rid of any of those people? And are they gonna get rid of some of the wrestlers? Because you think about it, he brought guys like Congo Kong over, Reno Scum, just to name a few. So what would this mean for the roster? So I really feel like if Jeff and Karen did not return, that not only would we see 
more backstage personnel possibly leave. But maybe we start seeing some wrestlers leave too. And that would just be really unfortunate. So let me know in the comments what you think about the whole thing with Jeff Jarrett. If you just really hope they work this out. Maybe some of you, some of you are um, okay with cutting ties. But I really think there's going to be collateral damage if that happens. And yeah, granted, maybe they go back to Impact. But then they have to stick with Impact. They can't change it. And I don't know, folks. It's a story to keep... Uh, keep an eye on um i'm concerned about it um i just want every i want jeff to be okay i want karen to be okay i want the company to be okay i just want everyone involved all parties involved to be okay so let me know what you think in the comments and again please subscribe to the channel if it is your first time i have um i've got something planned uh in the build up to bound for glory that um if i can pull it off it's going to be really great for the channel so please hit that subscribe button talk to you soon